aeration vertical mulching is not a new service to the arboriculture industry. Um, aeration vertical mulching uh, probably dates back to um, the 60s or 70s, maybe even before that. Um, historically, the method for performing aeration vertical mulching was to use a, a, an auger, uh, about a two inch diameter auger bit, and uh, on a grid pattern of about every two to three feet throughout the root system of a tree to use the auger to create a hole in the soil and uh, within that hole uh, soil remediation products would be put in to help augment the health of the tree. The weakness of this process was uh, a lot of times when aeration vertical mulching was prescribed it was prescribed for compacted soils and when you auger in a soil that is already heavily compacted, the auger actually smooth bores the hole that you drill into the soil. Back in the late 90s, uh, I did a lot of aeration vertical mulching and we might go back two years later to a, a, a project that we had completed and you could almost literally pull out that plug of material that you installed uh, into that hole intact. A, the product wasn't able to penetrate the smooth sidewalls of that hole and get out to help the tree. In the last decade or so, um, some tools became available that use compressed air. Initially they were employed for excavating root zones or underground utilities in a manner that didn't damage the utility or the roots. The compressed air penetrates the pores of the soil and causes it to fracture and blow apart, yet it doesn't damage an underground gas line or a fiber optic wire or a root. Since the arboriculture industry embraced this compressed air tool, it has been discovered that it's also very effective at aeration vertical mulching. You are still plunging a hole into the root system of the tree or the rooting zone of the tree and using that hole to add uh, compost or, or other soil augmentation products. The difference being is you do not smooth bore the hole and in fact the compressed air with such volume and velocity when you plunge that machine into the hole for a radius of four to six feet out from where you are standing you can actually see the soil fracturing and air escaping from the, the soil and, and moving vertically. So it's very effective at decompacting the soils within compacted root zones. But it also permits us to get better medial relocation of those soil augmentation products that we're applying to the, to the root system of the tree. The other benefit that it's done that we discovered a number of years ago when we did some testing on traditional methods of aeration vertical mulching and uh, using these compressed air tools, we discovered that the labor in excavating the holes was about 30% of what it took to use the gas powered machine. The benefit to the consumer, to the residential homeowner or, or tree manager, is that means we can provide this service at a more competitive cost. So it's a, it's a very effective treatment historically somewhat prohibitive for the consumer to employ because it was a little bit expensive. Now it's become much less expensive and available to people with a, a tighter budget concern. Other uh, perspective I would have on this method of aeration vertical mulching is our staff really enjoy being able to provide it because we know that it's an effective method of enhancing the, the vigor of a tree. It's not taxing on, on the worker, it's fairly easy to perform, and when we perform a task that we know is effective, it's easier to find it rewarding and uh, to embrace providing that service to our customers. So I find our staff promote it just as aggressively to any person that happens to be walking by and uh, ask, what are you doing? It's a strange job you seem to be doing right now. With enthusiasm, they can advise that passerby what the benefits are and, and how effective this uh, service, this prescription is for uh, tree health.